Hello, hello. It's Tracy from Mindless Crafting and the old. <laughs> How are y'all doing on this Saturday noon? I hope y'all are doing okay. I went and did some shopping in my craft room and I pulled, came across this paper right here. So this is something, this is a random paper that I have. It's called Happy Day. I don't even remember when I when I got this, Bill. All I know is you I've had remember. this. You know, I don't remember. <laughs> All I know is that it's been in my stash and I need to make something out of it. It's birth of Les Wilson and Allison Thetford. So we're just going to do some mindless Shannon. crafting cards. Let's see. One, two, three, sure four, enough. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve cards, y'all. Sure. Twelve cards? That's a lot, right? So let's go ahead and get this started right away. I love these um, colors. I thought it'd be nice to make some fun, happy cards. Fun, happy cards, y'all. And I love the sayings on them. Hi, Donna. Sometimes you want to just get in your craft room and just start crafting your heart out, right? Just be stress-free in your crafting. So I'm picking this paper or this page, and I'm just going to go ahead and make some cards from it. Well, there you go. So I think this will be fun. Amy Marshall finally received her package. Nice. Oh, and my went to goodness. Australia. It started in March. Oh, my goodness. That's a long time. They must have walked it over time, there. Okay. Swam across the ocean, okay? Sorry, Amy. I'm glad you got it. I hope you're doing some crafting today. Look at these. You're you're just my type. Bill, look at that. That's cute with the typewriter. I like that. That is so adorable. I like the dog, whatever that is right there. So this could be the main focal part, focal point of my cards. And then I'm just gonna cut these out. Hey y'all. Yeah, just Allison, you're so right. Fun and happy, stress-free. Exactly. So I'm just going to be cutting them up and chit-chatting with y'all. So I'm glad that y'all could join us this Saturday. Uh oh GFC says she's double dipping today. She's watching two lives simultaneously. Uh-oh. There you go. <laughs> it's a fun day. Tracy, Amy Marshall says it's 1.30 a.m. Sunday. Ooh. In, Amy, she's in bed. What, are, what are you doing up, Amy? Amy. Jennifer Rio is. How did she know we were gonna go live right? Oh well, I know I know I had uh, mentioned it yesterday. She might have got the notification. Hi, Ron. Is that Ron Marquez? It is. Hey, Ron. Birth of Us Wilson says she's sitting. In at the table making some bag toppers for a swap. Oh, nice. Look at y'all doing your crafty self, doing yeah. something that you love. You guys, I'm missing all kind of comments. If I happen to miss you, forgive me. Welcome to our happiness. Oh, no, this doesn't say happiness. It says, welcome to our happy mess. <laughs> That's funny. Diane Solomon says she's making thank you cards today. Oh, nice. You can never have enough. Thank you, Cards. Is that Susan Stewart? She says, stopping in to say hi. Hey, Susan. Susan, I miss playing with you. Susan, I'm so glad that you're here. What's up, Danny? So we're going to have these Project Life cards. I think these are going to be cute. Wonderful. Got the little hip-hop yay. Hip-hip yay. Oh, my goodness. The doggy on there. Welcome to our happy mess. It's good to see you back, Barbara. Tracy Barber says she's hello. She's been away for a while. She was hit by a drunk driver in November last year. She's still recovering, and she's missed all of us. Oh my goodness! Well, we're glad you're back. Hopefully, this yes, will Barbara. bring some cheer into your life. You know, hopefully, this will cheer be able to bring just even if you smile just once today. You know. So I'm just showing what what's on here. This is cute too. I could just stamp something right on there. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> H for happy. Be humble, be gracious, be kind. Remember we were talking yesterday, we had a great live 
We released our uh, newest stamp set, um, Power Statements. And we were just talking about our fun, like just words and how powerful words can be. Hi, and y'all were talking about... Thanks, Ariel. Ariel brought me some tea, y'all. Hi, Joanne Gilbertson. She Look says, so happy shine. to see you live. We have a newcomer, Dream. Eleanor Hampton. Hello. Hi, Eleanor. Dream big. I love this one. Why fit in when you can when you were born to stand out? Bill, yeah, why fit in when exactly. you were born to stand out? Okay, so I got those. I'm gonna outline these in black. Let me get my little I like dream my big. trimmer. I start I always tell I used to always say if you're gonna be dreaming anyway, you might as well dream big. Allison, you weren't on with us yesterday. She said the strangest thing, I could never find you for the live yesterday. Do you have the notification bell on there too, Allison? Just just wondering. Yeah, and once you click that note, the bell, click on the one that says always. Right, oh, always notify me. It's right next to the subscription button. And sometimes YouTube takes a long time to, um, sometimes 10 minutes into the live, and people are still getting getting the alert after we go live, Hi, which is kind of strange. Mandy Hansford, hello from the UK, my first live. It's oh, tea nice. time over here. Oh, it's tea time. Mandy, drinking tea right I'm now. drinking, look, I'm drinking some organic green tea. Yep. I am. So I've got my little drink in here on a Saturday. Just glad to be here with all of you. That's my measuring. <laughs> that You saw what I did, y'all. Did y'all see that? I just held that thing up and just... I know some of you do the same thing in your craft room. You just kind of hold the paper up and eyeball it and measure it. Not a ruler in sight. Not a ruler in sight, y'all. Anita Let's Smith see. says she's been in the, dump, in the dumps lately. Aww. She's usually a very cheerful person. She's hoping we can cheer her up today. Well, between everyone in here, we're going to give her Yeah, we're, we're just, you give know. Give it a try. Sending you some positive vibes there. Exactly. We know how it can get, you know. Hi, Felicia. Sometimes just getting in the craft room and just like having not a plan in mind and grabbing pretty papers, which is what I decided to do, and do it live with all of you. Ron Murphy. Tracy and Bill, do y'all garden? I was just about to read it. Ron? Bill, do we garden? You know, no, we don't. But you know what? My father we was used to at, at the other house. We used to do the gardening. Remember? My father used to serious gardening, and I, I actually can do it if I wanted to. Mm. I could. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? But I'm not gonna. I'm not going, Ron. I'm not going to uh, rule it out. One we're, day we're so busy though. Sometimes right. one yeah. day I may do it. I definitely see the value in it. You can take a small plot of land and grow so much. It's absolutely incredible. Yep. I know gardening is like a meditation thing also, you know? Hi, the chat. Hi, Karen Nelson. Karen Nelson, how are you? I need 12 of these. Okay, 12 of these. Let's see. Here's an interesting name. A new, no, don't, a, don't a new kill craft. It. That's the name, a new craft. Oh, she says, good crafting morning. Good crafty morning to you, too. So glad y'all could join us. I'm not measuring right today. I don't feel like measuring. It's one of those days I just don't feel like measuring, y'all. There you go, Mandy. Mandy Hansen says, I've had my stuff out for about three weeks since I first start, started watching one of your videos. Challenge myself to use my scraps and stash I've had for years. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Why are we saving it when this can make someone happy? Make it and just send it to someone. Make it and send it. I know why I would do it. Because sometimes you, you have items or paper or, or just different crafting items. And you'll say, this looks so phenomenal. I have to save it for that, for that special, special occasion. occasion that which never seems which is done. like now, right? <laughs> I got to save my paper. Why? Um, <laughs> for that one special occasion. That one special card, you know? 
Deb C said her father and his parents had green thumbs and she didn't get that. My grandparents even had a little farm. Mmm, nice. Bertha says there's a lady on YouTube that gardens in large buckets in her backyard. She's oh. Up, she's thinking about trying that next year. That sounds like a fun idea. Sounds that like I could, possi channel, I could possibly manage that. Something like that, gardening in buckets. I think we can manage that. I understand, that. Marlene. Marlene Watts says, Ron, I wish I could garden, but my knees just won't let me anymore. Mm. We just do the grass cutting and stuff. Actually, I got to go and cut down one of my some of my mother's um, hedges at her house. I was telling my son. The landscaping, day, more landscaping. I was telling my son the other day, I say you kind of know you're getting a little older when you you sit, you find yourself staying outside dressed up in your track suit that you just bought because you're starting this new running program. Mm. And, and you find yourself standing up saying, I'm getting ready to run. Now, when you were younger, you never said it. You just broke out. Bam! It's just, good. Now it's a started whole, running. It's a whole event. Okay. I have to prepare myself mentally. Right. Let me take my Advil. Ready. Let me take my Advil now. I'll fix it to start <laughs> making my legs go faster than they normally go, which is usually a walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like to walk, so I'm good on the walking. And however you can get it in. If walking makes you happy, do that. If running makes you happy, do that. Amy Marshall says, I admit, I admit it. I am a paper hoarder. It's okay, Amy. Amy, if you have young ones around, challenge them to just grab some stuff for you. You can't look at it. They just have to pick out what they like. And you got to make something from it. And whatever they get, whether it's paper, beads, uh, stickers, stamps. That's ink, a good idea. That's all you can use until it's exhausted. Can't use anything else. And give yourself a time, or, or give yourself a time frame, okay? Whatever they gave me, I'm going to give myself 30 minutes <laughs> or one hour. Jennifer Real says she is, too. She's a paper hoarder, Hi, too. Vivian. Vivian says, I'm late. Sorry. All the cut parts Tracy's using from a paper pack is so cute. This actually was in a paper pack. This was this was actually one. I only have like this one sheet, so I thought, you know what, I may as well get some more um, sheets of this. This was one. These are Project Life cards from. Let's see. Mad Plaid, Mad for Plaid, Photo Play. It's from Photo Play. Mad for Plaid. So I had the one sheet that's been sitting on my shelf, and I said, you know what, I'm gonna pull these Project Life cards out and make something. So that's what I'm doing now. So there's actually, I think there's 12 of them, aren't there? There's like 12 of them? Yeah, there's 12. So I'm just cutting little outlines for them. Outline them in black to really make them stand out. Six, seven, eight of these. Karen Nelson says she's a big paper hoarder. Yeah, start using it, Karen. Believe me, it's going to brighten someone's day. You start using it and then make some cards and send them out. Now you've got like, I've got, I'm going to have after this, I'm going to have 12 cards to send out to make someone's day. So that paper that was sitting on my shelf is now going to be used to make someone's day wonderful. So I'm pretty happy about that. And in case you didn't know, see, I like the words too. So just going along with the words on here and how we, we just released our um, our new stamp set that's all big words, big words. I'll have to show you in a moment. So we released a photopolymer stamp set. So we're super excited. We're back in action again, back in action. I'm going to measure this here. Felicia, you ordered your new set yesterday. Awesome. Awesome. And guess what? 
Felicia. They're on the way. No. <laughs> if you ordered yesterday, we had a big shipment that went out this morning. Sure did. So we uh, descended on the post office early this morning. So, yeah, we've been up early. Yeah, so we... if you ordered yesterday, it's yeah. it's in the mail. You should have gotten a confirmation. Yeah. If you don't get a confirmation, it's possible that you that the email might be incorrect. So just make sure you check your email. Two. Oh, Mima Fred. Right. Congratulations. 11. We need I one more. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mima Fred just got a new job. I oh, think. nice. Is that right, Mima Fred? Mima Fred. Mima Fred, by the way, incidentally says, is there is there a 12-step program for paper hoarding? Mm. <laughs> I don't. I think the first step is a, admitting so. that there is a problem. The first step is admitting that you have a problem, Mima Fran. Hi, Jerry Reed. We needed you the other day. Actually, we needed time. We didn't need time. Somebody in the group needed time. Okay. Oh, that's right. Someone. It was which one? With this? Not someone. A, yeah, someone had a. Snake. Please not. That's not. <laughs> no, no, hey, we, Jerry. This is what happens. We're someone obsessed with snakes. Had a five foot snake underneath their sofa. Oh yeah. And my whole question was, how did you know the snake was five feet? Because after I saw about a centimeter of it, that had been about it for me. Oh, it was her sister. Yeah, her sister. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing some of these together. That way I don't keep y'all all day on this live watching me make a bunch of cards, you know? And I've got my um, card bases all cut out. You write a new craft. A new craft says... If you don't use your beautiful paper in your sash, you won't be, reap the benefits of an amazing creation. There you go. Right. That's why the paper is there. You're so right on the graph. That's it. I, I just want to put this in the hands of someone else. It's like sending them a paper hug. You know? It's like when I was a kid growing up, we went to school. When we came home, my mother was hardcore about, put on your play clothes. And I wore my play, I lived in my play clothes. I used to want to wear the other clothes because I would tell my mother, but if I wear these, I'm not gonna my eventually I'm gonna get too big and I'm gonna spend all my time in the play clothes and the good clothes will get too little. <laughs> well she didn't want to hear that. Exactly. Just your church clothes, your play clothes, and your school clothes. Exactly. That was it. If you best believe the instant you came in, those clothes were coming off. At least in my house. <laughs> Look at Barney and Lamb. Barney and Lamb said, uh, 12 steps. Step one, get in the car. Step two, drive to the store. <laughs> <laughs> Step three, go to the paper aisle. It, I know. Let me it, just look and see what they have, Step right? 12, place in the keepsake drawer. <laughs> to never come out. <laughs> yeah. Good one, right there. No, or, or step step two. Once you get in the store, go and look at the paper because I just want to. I'm only looking, right? I'm only looking. Mm. Hold up, yeah. Amy Marshall says I need a twelve step program. I have about sixty six by six pants and about forty twelve by. Oh pants. wow. Please tell me you've at least used Amy, some of the paper in there. <laughs> Amy, look, you're going to have to blindfold yourself Amy. and just reach in the middle of one and just grab one of those babies out just and don't... grab a 12, 12 by 12 and grab one of those out. I don't even care if they match or not. And just force yourself. Matter of fact, you can't even trust yourself anymore. Get those two packs out and then get one of the little ones around you, whether they're your kids or your grandkids or something. And let them pick out no more than two sheets of paper out of each book. What well, two sheets out of the little one and one out of the big one. And force yourself. No, you're confusing me. Force yourself <laughs> to use. I don't care if the colors don't match to you. You have to use those or nothing else. There you go. You I heard him say it. I can't make it watch, match. 
Imagine if, if you didn't make something out of those things that your little the grandkids or whatever got for you, that someone was going to line you up in front of a firing squad in 45 minutes. Mm. I bet you make That's something. That's too much in. pressure. I bet you make something. You probably make so many cars. Yeah, I made more than two. Yeah, I made 25 of them. Really, all the firing squad. She said, no grandkids, LOL. Almost an 18-year-old son, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Have him pick them out. Especially if he doesn't... The best person to pick out stuff is someone who doesn't really know about card making. Exactly. And they just have them just pull stuff out. I think that would be fun. Brian, Brian says, Amy has a paper room. A living room, bathroom, and a paper room. It's no longer a craft room. That one's a little bit short, but that's okay. See that short on those sides? That's fine. Joanne says, look, I have so much paper to use. I'm thinking about cleaning it out and just sending it out for Happy Man. Oh. Joanne, you're like... That's so sweet. A real paper. Holder. I think there's something that we always hoard in our craft room. Well, that's how it is, though. Yeah, I think there's something that we always kind of hoard. There's that one thing. Some For some people, it's paper. For some, it might be something else. Yeah, let me tell you something. I have had drum patterns that were sent to me by people, different uh, like programmers, drum programmers. I'm talking music now. And the patterns were so bad, so awesome, that I still have them because I said, I cannot just use this on just any old piece of music. It must be reserved for one of my greatest masterpieces. And you know what? Some of those drum patterns are like, I bet you I can find something 10 years old down there. Mm. Isn't that a shame? So you're a music hoarder. Right. You can you can do you, that hoarding thing and cross, it can cross over into anything, believe me. These are cute. Really liking these. These are gonna be fun. Jerry Reek says I'm trying to figure out how to make a gnome today. How Just to make look a gnome? at Tom. Just kidding, Tom. <laughs> Tom <laughs> Jerry, don't let mess him. Mess with me, I said a snake. Exactly. I'm sorry, Tom. I didn't mean it. You mean like a paper gnome? I'm sure Pinterest. <laughs> Susan, she said, Tracy did start us on car cardboard. Not my fault. Not my fault. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Look, I'm not paying attention. I'm going backwards now. I'm using the black. Susan Stewart says, Help I'm me. definitely a music order too. Susan, you understand. Okay, so let's see. I accidentally did this something different here. That's okay. Rob Marquise is asking Jerry. She's wondering if there's a punch design for gnomes. Oh, that would be nice. Can't is there a paper piecing gnomes? I think someone put one in the group. A paper piecing for gnomes, like putting one together. Susan says, my music stays no matter what. You know what, Susan? Okay, here's something. I don't know if you can call this hoarding. But what happens oftentimes uh, when you're playing something musically is it can come so easy to you that you won't really give it the expression it deserves. Let's say you're playing Happy Birthday. And instead of really, you, when you play anything, you have to say, you know what? When I play this, this is going to be the best expression that I've ever delivered in my entire life. You have to treat it like that, even practice scales anything but because you do it so often you just go happy birthday to you happy birthday to you. yeah 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 that's good i know it and you'll move on so what happens is you miss the opportunity to make it the best and then and then have each experience build on on, on itself one after the other until now you you you, you, you just develop skills that that are transcended and that's what i got from when asia was talking that day when she said she does her crafting real slow and she really thinks about it, but that's what what she does. So, but whatever works for you that allows you to 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 say I, I'm gonna I'm gonna use every crafting thing that I know and create the greatest 
craft that I know today. This will be the greatest card in my life for this moment. Bertha, I'm working on that one. Bertha Bless Wilson said a paper hug would be a, a great sentiment. I got it. I'm working on it. A paper hug. <laughs> hint, hint. I'm working on it. It's Let already. Write that down, Bertha. Oh, you already wrote it. Oh, it's you? already being in the works already. Bertha has spoken. It's already being designed and kind of worked out. Yep. Well, I think you missed play. a bunch of comments. I miss it so much. Sonny yeah. Creel knows about play clothes. Let me back up and start reading some stuff. All right. I just I'm just grabbing some random uh -oh. things off of my desk, y'all. Sonya, she she's going she's she's I would like to say that you've progressed a lot. But you're kind of early in it. I'm going to read this to you, Tracy, so you understand what I'm about to say. Okay. Sonia Creel says, Amy, I now hoard cans and individual cookie packages. <laughs> that is funny. That's like 10 years ago. Just kidding. It's Tracy's fault. <laughs> Don't look, y'all. Tracy hoards so much stuff, I can't even name what it is. Okay. It could be anything. Mm. We can go on a walk. Tracy come back with sticks, pine cones. No, I don't, Bill. Tracy, please. Okay? Did not do that? Well, when I was doing when I was doing pine cone crap, you can yeah. come back with some stuff. <laughs> rocks, all kind of stuff, you know, <laughs> leaves. <laughs> Just be happy it's not husband hoarding. Okay? Uh, exactly. We don't want go. that now. <laughs> <laughs> Here, take a rock. What, what a pine cone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. <sighs> y'all are too funny. I'm just taking some random stuff off my desk, y'all. Here, D. McKinney's asking Randy, when you print out your digital stuff, are you printing on the cardstock or regular copy of paper? Probably. Oh, you want to? Yeah, you definitely want to print it out on cardstock. Unless you just want to practice coloring. But I not on, no, because printed paper would just be too, it would be too thin. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm thinking. And if you want to put it on a card, you don't want to waste your ink. Yeah, you want to just go ahead and use. That's cute. That shines. That shines, Bill. Look at that. Ooh. Sorry, Christmas. Yes, my mom once washed my daughter's church dress. Which is dry clean only. The mm. dress turned green. Well, what color was it at first? Green. No, just kidding. <laughs> Ooh. Brian Dickey, he says, hi, Tracy. Hey, and Brian. Bill and the other 88 people. Actually, 95 now. All right, we're just having fun on this Saturday. Hi, Diana. Saturday hi. afternoon, just having fun here. Amy says, I like boxes, too. Thanks, Tracy. <laughs> but I do cut it up straight away and store flat in the box. There Tracy you go. Tracy used to have some boxes. You know what, Diana, Amy? I'm going to tell you what Tracy Stop said. Stop telling tell my business. Stop telling my business. We have been in the grocery business. store before, and Tracy saw a box. She saw something, and it was that food was in. And I don't even think we even ate, it, ate whatever it was. <laughs> she bought the thing just because she liked the box, so, because she wanted the box. She didn't care what the what was it what the food item was. I think it was some Oriental. We tried it. It was. I don't okay. remember doing that. I do. It, it came out good too. Whatever you made, I remember that. You know what, y'all don't listen to him. Do not listen. Everyone's saying where the world is Margie at. When Margie's gone, we recognize we realize it, don't we? Does she not know that we're on? How dare she? Jerry Reed says, I asked Dunkin' Donuts for an extra bag for my junk journal. Oh. Did they put some donuts in it? <laughs> <laughs> Dee McKinney answered Danny about, remember the question about does she use regular paper or cardstock? 
She says, I generally use car stock, but typically use a lower weight, such as 65 pounds, mm -hmm. and save the 80 pound and 110 pound car stock for the card basis. Oh, okay. That is the D. Good McKinney idea. technique. D. McKinney technique. Oh, I'm like losing all my little gems here, huh? Flying all over the place. That attorney says, My grandma used to say, Mind your business. Mm. She would say that afterwards. I'm not going to say what happened before, but just know <laughs> you can That's use your imagination. Said, huh? Actually, my great grandmother, she was just like, Oh my goodness. She did not play, okay? I'm just adding my own little stuff in here, y'all. They went with everything back then. I mean, it wasn't even so even so much what you said. It was the tone, everything. You could say something good, did you? Yes. Uh, I didn't like how you said yes. You had to say it cheerfully. Yes. Don't use that yes. tone with me. <laughs> you might as well just say I'm really bad. Well, since so I'm going to get God anyway, I might as well. Uh, <laughs> I might as well really just go go for broke. Let me keep reading here. Hi, Barbara Bub Bubba. Allison. Oh my goodness. Allison said I had I had flat boxes collected. My husband thought they were recyclables. I'm starting over. Oh boy. Tell him he threw out your entire collection, okay? Who did that? Ooh. Her husband thought it was recycling. So Allison, after you how long was he in the doghouse? Okay. <laughs> I know he just walked straight to the. You just point. You didn't even say that. You just point at your finger. Get in <laughs> the doghouse. No need to bark. You're she not getting a that. bone. She did not do that. Nothing. Get in there. <laughs> After that, he was like me. I was scared. I was so scared to throw stuff away. Every time I would pick up anything, I don't care what it was. Tracy, can I throw this away? I wouldn't even say that. I would just say, what about this? And she knew exactly what I was talking about. What about this? No. What about this? And Ron, 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 he says, doghouse? How long was he in the hospital? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Crafters are serious. Do not no, throw out their stuff. Not hospital. And do not try to reorganize their stuff. Did okay. you have to hire Lazarus to, to <laughs> resurrect him is the question, okay? Hi, Pam Pertle. She says, finally made it. It's been a Hi, week. Hi, Pam. Glad you could make it. I'm probably like, why is Tracy stitching a all new of craft these? Said, you two are hilarious. I need a good laugh today to take my mind off these knees. Oh, man. Yeah, my foot and my knees, okay? I got it. I got it both. And I, you know, with the walking that Bill and I have been doing, I'm just like, ooh, my knees. And all we did was walk. When something? Bill gets up out the couch, it is a sight to see because... <laughs> <laughs> Bill, he the, the noises that he makes. Ariel, is that not true? They didn't hear you. Is it true? I mean, it's like hearing. It's it's like a. You think he was in distress, okay? But no, I have to. Sounds like he's in pain. Yes. I have to grab a hold and make sure. I mean, I, I mean, to, it's almost like it's hilarious my knees hurt though. When I have to stand up when they bend down too far. <laughs> my knees hurt when I have to. I thought you were gonna say something like jog or run oh, no, no, no. or or like. You know, he's like, my knees hurt when I stand up. That's what he Well, if I bet, well, how about this one? If I drive in a car, and I bet a lot of people like this, if I'm in a car for longer than 20 minutes, when it's time to get out of it, I have the thought of having to now stand <laughs> up laughing. and move my legs after all that time, and they set, kind of settle in like that. Ariel, don't be laughing with your 22-year-old self. <laughs> you know, Ariel... <laughs> Remember when we were young, we wake up in the morning, we almost just jump out of bed just like we jump were out of bed. spring, just poof, I'm here. I do that now, darling. Please. I, I jump right I out, of the out of the bed. I roll out of the bed and I have to grab a hold and pull myself <laughs> up. And then I'm, as I pull myself up on the bed, I'm still kind of laying down where my head is kind of facing my feet. 
Then I have to put my hands on my knees and kind of throw myself up. And y'all, catch he, myself. he over here in the craft room demonstrating <laughs> as if y'all can, as if y'all can see him. <laughs> we were friends as I have to get out of the car sideways. <laughs> I'm not okay. with him. Right. I'll be like, I'm not with him. <laughs> All of these acrobatics to get out the car. I'll be like, <laughs> whoo, that's funny. That is hilarious, babe. Remember back in the day, we used to dance like rerun and stuff. Now, please, one leg dancing with me, one foot. That's it. <laughs> The one leg, stay, the same leg stay in place and only one leg moves. Like pop locking? One, two, one, two, what is it? <laughs> then when I get tired of that leg, I change, just I make the other leg stay. Then oh my the goodness. other leg do the movement. For about half a song. I remember area, we were somewhere. So it was a wedding something, reception. Ariel was like, let's dance. I've made it through one song. I started walking. We're not finished. I'm just like, please. I'm finished. <laughs> he was over there sweating. I was. <laughs> <laughs> and they uh, stayed out for so long dancing. I got tired of looking at him, let alone doing it. Oh, she says, uh, hey, see what? A new it's co- Kathy. Kathy says, what sentiment would you put inside? You know what? If you wanted to, to me, there's no limits. So you can put whatever sentiments you have. Like if I wanted all of these to be thank you cards, it could be a thank you card. You know, like I don't like, like, okay, so some of these I'm going to be putting life is good, stamping them on the inside, right? Because they already have, some of them have a sentiment already. Like this one right here, it doesn't have a sentiment. So I can actually put something, you know, like, uh, Let's see if we have one that would fit. See, that one would, I don't want to cut off my little doggy there. But what I would do is here, I would stamp this. Well, you know what? Let me go ahead and show you. Let me show you what I would do. Why don't you show them, Tracy? I'm going to show you what I do. Oh, I already was using this stamp. So let me go ahead and find it somewhere on my desk. Good so luck. glad that y'all, okay. Bill, stop. <laughs> Talking about my desk. <laughs> okay, so stamp it right there. Life is good. The chat says, I love the fussy cut images from magazines, and I combine them with stamp or drawn images on cards, which means I'm hoarding magazines and packaging. Mm. I don't buy paper pads because of this. Chat is a magazine or the chat. My mother in law had like look, life, all kind of stuff. She got a lot of, yeah, she's got a lot of, um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> she's got a lot of magazines. Yes, she do. Yeah, so it'll be great to go through black some, and white. It was so old. Yeah, it'll be great to go through some of her stuff, but she probably wouldn't let me take any of that, of that stuff. Okay, so say I want to do something like that. Here's what I'm going to do. Ink this up real good. Okay, so once I get, look how nice that inked up. This is this is this is the Power Statements stamp set that was released yesterday. That's why we had to make that. Y'all love this thing, this stamp set right here. My goodness, y'all went and ordered that stamp set. So thank you so much for all of you that supported us, that are supporting us. We really appreciate it. So what I'm gonna do with this is just take out the word life, right? Right here. I'm just making up my own thing, right? So I can just take this and go like that. I want to make it smaller. 
Sorry, I'm, I hope I'm not coming out the camera. Still right there. Oh, I'm still in there? Okay. <laughs> life. See, make it like a little life. Right there. Life. Exactly. And I'm putting it. Sometimes you just need one you know word, what? right? Life. The way the dog is looking up, it makes me think about the saying. You, saw, you always say, as long as you can look up, you can get you up. You can get up, yep. And I should say, More powerful what words. if you're laying on your stomach? Then roll over. There you go. <laughs> hey, simple as that. What if you can't roll over? So on the inside of the card, I can go ahead and put this right here. Because I can see, look what I can do. Life uh, dot 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 when you get a chance Tracy show that stamp set Karen Nelson is asking the stamp set from yesterday was it digital no it's not it's actually a photopolymer stamp set uh, so I'm life dot 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 and then inside the card I'm going to put is good in fact that saying it came from it life is good yes it did Let's Is that stamp set still available? Uh, this one we actually put in. Yes. Um, this one is still available. These two, uh, I think. Uh, which one? One of these sold out. This one is um, words to inspire, and words of hope. What's, I what's think out words, is words of hope. Words to inspire is still there. Okay, yeah. words to inspire is still there. This one just this sold out yesterday, real quick. Yes, here you go. So, yeah. Okay, yep. So, these, we, all of these are on sale too. They're 10% um, off on those. 10% off on our big stamp sets. These huge, big ones, too. yep. They're pretty big. Let me get one of the other ones to compare. See, that's the size. And personally, for me, there. what I like about the size. See that? Look at that. It's the fact, fact that they're large enough where I can build my entire card theme around the word itself, as opposed to like as an afterthought. Karen, you better get yours soon because um, <laughs> yeah, they are yeah, they they're flying out the door. We yeah, they were looking at us at the post office like. Uh, Karen says, "Ooh, I've got to have that stamp set." <laughs> yeah, that's set. what I'm I've saying. Been she for needs big to... word stamps. Yeah, I think big bold words are really nice, and they oh. stamp out really good too. Ron Marquis is in. Tracy, did your company give you any word on the sympathy set? The sympathy. Mm, I hate to to like. We do have word back, so it's gone. Into, it's in production now, so it's yeah. being produced. We know that much. We ordered a bunch of them, and they're being produced. I'm thinking Ju early July, maybe. Early July. But you can go on our website where it says uh, sold out. You can put in uh, your email address right on the page where that product is sold out, and you can put in... Uh, say, well, can you be notified when it comes back in? And we'll send an email out to you notifying you when it's back in stock. So that way you don't have to keep checking back. But yeah, uh, once it does come in, no, I'm going to make an announcement because so, that one is so pop. The Sympathy stamp set and the um, cat. Felicia McGee. Perfect friend Corey stamp set. says, yeah, I ordered all three of those bad boys. Today. Oh, you got all three. Well, you are lucky because that one of those sold out. Yeah, within like the first couple of hours, it was gone. Okay, so let's get back to this, y'all. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just making up, making it up as I go. So you, I, I said, hey, it's not going to fit if I stamp it all across there. So let me go ahead and cut it apart, right? Life, and then on the inside, is good. Sonia Creel said... Let me tell you something. My uncle, he must have thought I didn't know what I had in my kitchen. And he used her tiny strainer to clean cat litter. What? She says, I was crazy. Wait, 
minute. How do we get on that? I don't know. <laughs> but, but I know you didn't use that thing again. How okay? on earth did we get you on that? You can't even take a chance on watching that. What on earth? No, that's just, that's that's one of those things like, uh, just throw it out. Yeah, that's it's just. It's done now. You know what? There's a pretty plaid paper in my other room. <laughs> I'm, I'll be right back. Hi, Lavelia. Lavella? La Lavella, I didn't say your name right. Let me get your name. Yes, I said it. Lavella. Lavella. Lavella says mine's on the way. Yes, you'll receive an email. Once you order, you receive an email saying that you're, you can track the whole thing. I, I think it's the coolest thing. Oh, certainly, Karen. I I'll take you. Here you go, right here. Uh, okay, right here. Maybe right there. I'm thinking that plaid paper would look really fun. Karen, I just put the link on it. If you click that, it'll take you. Matter of fact, I'll send you a link where it actually goes directly. Well, that'll take you. If you go, if you click on that link, it the first two stamp sets. It'll say on sale. Yeah, that went pretty. That, that went pretty quick. Though. Here, let me, let me know if you see it here. Hi, Ann J. Hi, Taz Holden. Something about that plaid. See how I'm mixing and matching? I'm not like really saying, oh, I got to have it this size, but... Karen, did you, did you get this that? Fun. I'm not looking at the other side, y'all. This other side is cute. I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. <laughs> Don't look, y'all. This is where you get messed up when you got those double-sided papers and both sides look so cute. Can anyone relate? So this style of crafting is called mindless crafting and it's just fun and free and just, hey, we're just going to be ourselves and just have fun, basically. Have fun. Everything doesn't have to be matched up Susan correctly. Susan says, I love it, Tracy. Ron Marquis Thanks. says, double-sided is a blessing and a curse. Yes. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Especially the curse part because you, you oh say, my I want to use both sides. And I'm just going to put that right in there, just like that. I'm not fancy, y'all. I promise you guys, I'm not being funny. My first roommate, that was his philosophy, with his clothes. Just put anything on? No, what? he used both sides. Oh, ooh. ooh. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Ooh, that's scary. Even with his undergarments, he was just quite disgusting. Oh, boy. That, that situation didn't last long. Mm. I need to use this paper right here. So I'm going to cut it down in a moment. Yeah, Jay says, I love that dog. That dog is cute. He's just looking up just as happy as can be. He looks peaceful too. She, look, she looks so peaceful. Her eyes are just closed. She's in that. You're right, Deb. See, she says, that's when you hope you have two two. Two pieces so you can use both sides. Oftentimes I'll open going through the paper pack packs and they'll have two of the same one. I'm like, thank goodness. I know, right? <laughs> Sometimes I have my mind set on one and I say, well, now I'm gonna go and use this. And Tracy's beating me to the punch. She's already used it. Mm. That has happened to me. Bill, what you talking about? You will have used the card. Pamela Allen says, uh, where did you find the paper that you're using now? This is a paper that's been sitting on my shelf. It's it's from it's a for, photo for play about 50 years. photo play brand paper. It's called Made for Plaid. Yeah, Happy Day. Bye, it's Donna. called Made for Plaid. So I'm not even sure. It's been sitting. I just wanted to have fun and find. It's on my shelf. I don't even have the whole pack. Donna Sally has to go now, Trace. Donna, take care and thanks thanks for stopping in. Exactly. Archie Kirby Creation says, I just stopped buying double-sided paper because it just caused me too much stress. 
<laughs> that's that one thing. It's like, oh my goodness, this paper is too cute. How can I just use both? Yeah. Somehow. Okay. I'm using my big cutter here because I have the five. That's okay. That's like, that down the, like the that. having your cake and eating it too thing. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. I want both. You're not getting both. But I won't. I got to measure, y'all. It's just not. It's it's trying, it's to, mess with, huh? trying to mess with my flow. Okay, let's go ahead and use this. Right there. Do you ever talk to yourself in your craft room? Be honest. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one that talks to Not only the craft room. Okay. Please. If you can't talk to yourself, who can you talk to? Who can to? you talk to? There you go. Seriously. Mm. <laughs> Look, I'm going to talk to Sometimes myself. Sometimes you'll answer your own question, right? <laughs> Diane Solomon, she said, my brother-in-law used to wear his sweatpants inside out. My aunt told him he looked like <laughs> she a, a chia pet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Y'all are hilarious. I remember Tracy, my brother, used to get on me because I would have on short pants and uh, mm. I was having these black socks and shoes. Y'all? She, she said, you like Bill Cosby. It's a sight to see. Okay. And I just never thought it's about it. It's that day when you didn't think you were going to ever get to that point. That's he, when you knew you were he, older. He's there. Because <laughs> I didn't care anymore. I said, you know. You what? better care. It's all there with me. Well, there you Talking go. about he don't. See, that's when you get to where you don't care anymore. Mm. Pam says I talk to myself all the time. Craft room, kitchen, anywhere in the house. How else am I going to get the answers that I want? <laughs> exactly. Did Pam say that? That's yes, hilarious. That's, a good one, Pam. that's funny. <laughs> exactly. Archie Kirby Creation says talking to yourself. It's called. Consulting with an expert. <laughs> Y'all are too much. Exactly. Mimi B says, I was talking to myself. Just don't start arguing with yourself. There you go. There lies the problem. Bill was cussing at himself. Who? You. You ever see Adam Sandler in that one movie? He was talking to the speaker to the lady. He's like, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean it. Why are you so and so this and that blanky blank? You can't cook anyway. And that's you know, I hate you. I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean it. You know, you know did he kept going back and forth between those two positions. <laughs> what show was that? <laughs> I forgot. It was a great show though. Karen Nelson did it. She says, Thank you. I just ordered the two step sets. I can't wait to get oh, them. You How long will it take to get to Canada? If you had put those things in this Canada? morning, we'd have, we went to the post office. We don't know how long it's going to take to get to Canada. Yeah, but I will tell you this. The moment the post office opens Monday morning, they'll be there. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, we we, we like to get those in. We pride well, ourselves on, on getting that. Yeah, we, we, we now we have slowed it down a little bit because we don't go to the post office as often. <laughs> so we try to do three runs a week. Um, Felicia. Felicia says, okay, Bill, you're no longer my twin. Don't dress like that. Felicia, I'm exactly. trained now. Tracy trained me. Mm. She won't even let me buy I clothes. I haven't trained him enough. Okay. Go sit on the bed. When I'm done, I'll dress you with the kids <laughs> when I'm finished. <laughs> ah, Y'all know he's trying. I can't buy anything. He's trying to look. Mm. She picks out my stuff. And I'm happy. <laughs> Our baby says, I will not be seen with any man who wears short pants and long socks and shoes. Wait a minute. Not only the long socks. So, baby, socks, you walk up about 10 yards ahead look, like, he's not with me. Are they long white socks <laughs> or long black socks? I'm just asking, okay? Uh, thick and thin. <laughs> thick and thins, okay? Thick and thins. Are they long <laughs> white socks or long black socks? Sometimes I don't even pay attention. Then we really get out in the street and we're about to go into the grocery store. I'm like... What in, what? what in the world does my husband say? Hey, man, I don't, know. The people don't, I don't know the people. <laughs> they don't know me. Hey. Plus, you got a mask on to disguise yourself, too, so you uh, can care less. Batman, Batman. I mean, I don't know what you 
<sighs> socks with flip flops. Oh my good. Now you know what? I have to admit, I did run out and I had like some um like the little tennis socks and flip flops. I did. All I did. <laughs> Oh, that's going to look nice. They're putting that little bit of black around that came out nice. Now that y'all got me stocked up with these, um, this mounting tape, y'all been sending me mounting tape. Y'all found out that I didn't get find any at my own Dollar Someone Tree. Someone said looking like Mr. Brown. <laughs> From, uh, what's that? What's the family... Um, oh, you know, oh yeah, 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 he is too funny. That <laughs> that is hilarious. That hi, is Angie Gills. She says, Hi from Arkansas. Love watching. You oh, are so fun hi, how are and relaxing. You? Brian says, If you dress like that with me, you can guard the car. <laughs> From inside the trunk. Here you go. Look. No, they, I, you know what, DFC? I can never wear socks with to individual toes. I put some on one time. Your toe socks? Oh, my God. I felt so paranoid. Now, I will not go to the store in my pajamas. Terrible. My pajamas? Mm -mm. I will tell you this. The first time when Tracy finally convinced me to get a pedicure... And I was hardcore. I'm not getting up. What is this crap? You know what I mean? And so, oh, it was a birthday or something. And Tracy did a couple's one. She knew that's the only way she could get me in there the first time. And when they finally did the pedicure, <laughs> well, the master did the pedicure, but that's another story. But that is, yeah. when they finally did the pedicure, I promise you, it felt like my feet must have had on socks with individual toes. Because it's, it's like for the, I couldn't even remember the last time I had felt my individual toes rub next to each other. And I remember telling Tracy, oh my God. Let's just say there was I lots of. Feel, <laughs> I can feel my toes. Let's just say there was lots of skin on the ground, okay? <laughs> oh, they had to call the master to get my feet, okay? Once they were no longer speaking English, I knew something was wrong. I felt so bad for that lady. She was like sweating, okay? She probably quit after that. Yes, they had, it was a young lady at first. She looked like she was my baby in right. her 20s or 30s. And, and she said something I didn't understand. She was doing something to her feet. Finally, she's like, She disappeared and, and went in the back, right? And next thing I know, this lady came out. She, she, was, she was much older. Like, like, how you think she was? She was in her 80s. She had this kimono <laughs> with her arms inside each sleeve. And I <laughs> no, promise stop. you, she looked like I didn't see her feet move unless she just glared across the floor. <laughs> Y'all said she opened up a robe and sat down like on, onto the floor. Pulled out a bunch of tools and knives and stuff. And <laughs> she did my feet. You hear me? <laughs> yeah, she did. She probably, look, she probably retired after that. <laughs> <laughs> I it's just, I just kept bowing to her and apologizing. I couldn't say anything else. <laughs> All I could say, I felt like holding up a sign saying, he's not with me. <laughs> he's not with me. I do me. not know him. You're like Peter with Jesus. I don't know him. I don't know him. Oh, wait a minute. Diane Torney, look what she has on. She said, I have Olaf pajamas, Tracy. It's a onesie. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, Diana. It's a behind flap. Stop, Diana. That's the kind of pajamas from back Diana, in the day. Diana, no, please no. You send those to Margie. Send <laughs> Margie. Margie, wears, you need some Olaf pajamas. She wears loungers. The, the lounge in that. She wears loungers. Let me get back to making my cards. Y'all going to have me on here for three, yes. three hours Margie, laughing. Margie, we were missing you. When you're not here, we We, we, we missed you. We, we were like, here. wait a minute. We need to send somebody to Margie's house. We're to about knock to send out the, uh, the people. The people. <laughs> I forgot what you call them, but y'all know who they are. The people Search that find people. Search and rescue. People. Yeah, them. Those guys. You were like, what on earth? Margie, what you doing? These cards are Joy says, I'm going to get my toes done on June 25th. I can't wait. My feet are going to be so happy. Mm. I did Bill's feet. 
No, look, y'all, this is what happened. Uh oh. 11 o'clock at night, the man is like, um, can you cut can, can you cut my toenails? She said, why can't you do them? I said, no, I, I didn't can't say that. Them. I cannot I, 11 o'clock at night, y'all. I already can't see. And you want me to cut your toenails? I'll cut the whole toe. I said, all right, I'll pay <laughs> That'll that. solve that problem. <laughs> and it was the kind of toenails with the clippers with the... With the uh... But how unromantic is that? My toenail clippers are dangerous. Hey, darling. Can you clip my toenails? Look, Bill's toenails will cut somebody up. You'll, you'll be you'll be amputated. <laughs> Get your feet away from me. <laughs> Partial amputation. They're like blades. You exactly, say, you, Archie Kirby. She says. <laughs> this is the bill. That sounds like the episode of Margaret. <laughs> and then he broke out the wood sander. You know what? Archie. Oh my goodness. When that stop. thing came on, Y'all it, need my to daughter stop. Ariel, uh in, in particular, and 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 Tracy, when what? they saw that, they were like, it looked at me and just broke out laughing so hard. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's it, Ron. She said Bill's box cutter feet. Oh my goodness. They're like, um, Look, if you want, if you ever wanted to um, cut your hedges, <laughs> you don't need a head trimmer. Just get Bill. Just get Bill. But seriously, I bet I could cut aluminum foil and stuff like that uh, on a real tip, uh, plastic. Bill, stuff like that. you can cut wood. Okay. Let's go <laughs> ahead and cut through the chase. Let's go ahead and cut through the chase. You can cut wood. Taz Holder says weapons. Look, Ariel back there remaining silent. She's like, I will not speak on this. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, his feet, y'all. His feet. Gotta love him now, feet and all. Taz Holder said weapons. <laughs> Weaponry, Taz. Oh, I got some other papers over here. Let's see. I got some little... Other little scraps of paper. Oh my goodness, y'all got me over here laughing. This is hilarious. Thanks, for chat for telling everyone to something. hit. See, most hit the most people use these right here. Okay, my feet would laugh at that. Okay, I, I have to have these right here. This would do nothing. Okay, right. So right, and you got to wear some um. What's those things? You got to wear some, some goggles. <laughs> you got to wear <laughs> you got to wear goggles when you cut his stuff. You end up getting blind. Oh my goodness, that's funny. That's hilarious, y'all. Bill's gonna be like, "Why you got to talk about my feet, Bill?" <laughs> You need a face protector. Okay? Yeah, you do. Let's just not, let's cut through the chase, okay? There were scissor hands. <laughs> scissor feet. <laughs> Bill scissor feet. <laughs> Bill scissor feet Phillips, okay? <laughs> Y'all over there could crack it up. <laughs> Bill, hey, darling. <laughs> what? Shrap. Can you? <laughs> he said shrapnel. <laughs> oh my goodness, y'all gonna have me in tears. Stop. Hold up. I don't know what y'all laughing at. It's some of y'all right now laughing, got feet just like mine. <laughs> Probably worse, okay? Malaya, stop laughing, Malaya. It might be Malaya. Malaya gonna make me <laughs> pull out. Malaya. <laughs> Malaya gonna make me pull out a rib. I feel already feel like I've been doing sit-ups. Oh my goodness, that is hilarious. Y'all need to stop. <laughs> you know what? Y'all can't just look. Y'all can't just tell one joke and just leave it. Okay, we're gonna stop. Y'all gotta squeeze every ounce. You know what though? That's of the how it used juice to be when out of we the rode joke. the bus. How many of y'all rode the bus to school? Ooh, yeah. Don't sit at the back of the do bus. Do not sit back there. Do not. If you do not want to be talked about, and believe me, let me tell you something. There are people who could talk about 
talk about you so bad, and I was one of them, but there were people who was talking about you so bad, you could not be too cute, too nothing. Right. We will find something. <laughs> you were okay? a target, period. All day long, until we got to school and all the way back. Hi, Maxine Curry Clark. Hey, Maxine. How are you? Glad you can oh, join us. Maxine, uh, the the welcome the welcome discounts uh, that they, they get applied at the end in the, in the uh, cart. Okay. Yeah, it automatically gets. It'll in take there. it off for you. Yeah. Oh, the chat says I need a gun license for a key. <laughs> Oh my goodness, y'all are just too Margie said funny. I missed too much fun. Now we just started breaking out. We just started, Margie. I'm over here making 12 cards during this live. And um we're just having fun. We're just having fun. That's sometimes you just gotta let loose and just have fun, right? Okay, I think I'm done with this for right now. I'll have to come back to it in a moment. Oh my goodness, y'all just have me just rolfing, as Bill would say. <laughs> I know, right, Taz? We're gonna crack up some, we're gonna crack some ribs. People gonna be pulling the muscle out of place just from laughing, okay? <laughs> All right, Maxine Curry Clark, I just sent that message to you. Basically, I'm saying if you have any problems, just email me at admin at minuscrafting.com. Vanessa Angel Roll says she's making cards and talking about oh talking about Edward Scissor Feet. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, uh, uh, Edward Scissor Feet. That is hilarious. Okay. Hi, Robin Burger Ber Burger Burger. Ber Ber Hold on. Let me let me practice it first. Oh my uh, goodness! Don't try it, Bill. Bergeron. 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 <laughs> Was I close, Robin? She's like, nope. Well, I got Robin right. There you go. <laughs> Bill got quiet. What you doing? So, Robin, is uh, Burger Ron, is, that's your married name of the, that you got from the husband? Burger Ron. That's your actual name that, from the, that, you, that you grew up with. And new crafts is laughter brought down my high blood pressure. Oh wow. Bertha says I get a headache if I laugh too hard. Look, I can't breathe sometimes when I laugh too uh, hard. Like I just okay. can't even like catch my breath. Hold up. You said the link doesn't work. I'll give you another link. I bet this link works. Hold up. You know, over here laughing about his feet and giving people the wrong links. I mean, what's going on, babe? Hold up. Okay, let's see what we got here. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to cut this right here. I think that'll work. Okay, try that link right there. I just tested it out. That, that worked. Oh! Okay, Robin says my original name left aloud. It's French. I am Cajun from New Orleans. Oh! Oh! Did I say it right? Bergeron? Or is it Ber Bergeron? Bergeron. 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 Something like that. Bergeron. 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 <laughs> I like certain names that have that exotic sound. Bish, I just Bish can't make it wrong. sound like it. Where's your wrong? Sorry, we're just messing up your name. It's supposed to roll off the tongue, babe. Bish, she said you said it, Tracy. Where's your wrong? Oh, that sounded good the way you said that. So, so say it again. Where's mm. <laughs> your wrong? Oh, that sounded good. I like that. There you go. <laughs> Uh, 
that it came out. She said, you got it, girl. I got it. Bonjour. Ooh, that sounded good. Bonjour. Your husband probably said, now my name is... What's her name? Say it again. Bergeron. <laughs> so you might as well just go ahead and say, I do. <laughs> feel just tell too. everybody your name is Robin. Say it. Bergeron. Exactly. <laughs> ah, there you go. Robin, we just playing with you. This is how we do on our crafty lives, y'all. Just have some fun. We laugh, we cry. We got all we just do all kind of stuff on here. I have to practice on that. Bill, how long we been on? Oh, 70 minutes. We oh. supposed to been on an hour, huh? Well, there you go. How many supposed to be cutting so my far? mom's hedges. Uh, we we making some progress. Her hedges. Now you can stay a little longer. <laughs> <laughs> we supposed to be hey. going to my mother to cut her hedges. Mm. Tracy, I like how that black is putting like the uh. Look at it up the up on the TV, Trace. Uh huh. It looks nice, don't it? Yeah, and I'm gonna put it on it the is white. It's so coat. nice. Thanks, babe. The black border, in conjunction with the black border around the blue, with the stitching. With the the one B or blue or whatever color it is, mm -hmm. it is so nice. Oh, I'm adding more to it. Sorry. Yeah, couldn't help it. <laughs> couldn't help myself. Just had to do it. Just had to do it, babe. Had to. Oh, the chat says my try my original name. Jo Josica. Huh. Black brass tech. If, if you're in the south, they would call it Josica Josica Bratek. Bratek. Josica Bratek. Josica. Josica Bratek. Josica. Stop it. <laughs> Bratek. <sighs> I know. Don't you love the way Bill just critiques everything, Margie? Everything well, you know is what? a lesson. Yeah, because I like to reverse engineer stuff. There you go. And Jay, and I got your first name, Nazil. 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 Mm. Was I close, Anne? <laughs> Nazil. Something like that. Naz, was I close? <laughs> Anne said, uh, just stick with Anne. <laughs> it's just. Anne's probably like, look. Just, just, yeah, just stick with it. Just Anne. stick with Anne, baby. Okay? Just don't even go outside of the. Uh... Oh, I said the last one. Nazil, Nazrael, Nazrael. I did. Did I do it? Nope. She said you're almost close. It's Nazli, like Taz then Lee. Nazli. I said it. Nazli. There you go. I like that. Nestle. Nestle. Oh, these cards. I love to look at cards like that. When that I have when beautiful. I make a bunch of them and then I just like and I haven't even added the flowers to them yet. So this is what we got so far, y'all. <coughs> this is what we got. So the chat, was I close? And Jay says her name means charming. Oh, nice. Hip hop, hooray! Okay, let me get some more papers here. Some See, here's the beauty. Papers. I know it sounds like we're climbing around and stuff, but here's the thing: when you're crafting, this is the relaxed state of mind and 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 sense of being that kind of should result. You're not thinking about it so yeah, much, just right? You're not thinking about it so much. Not being critical of yourself, right? You're just kind of like going with the flow, talking to my crafting Total friends. Total acceptance. Yep. Or cut too far, who cares? Then just come up with something. Some, yep. yep. Your mind will actually make you come up with something without you really thinking about it. You use that so called mistake as an opportunity for increased creativity. Let the real crafting come out now. Y'all hear him? Seriously. That's how it is. You're right, babe. Well, Leia says she really likes the heart one best. Margie says her name means pearl. Well, there you go. 
Susan Van says, nice group of cards. The Ben and Action group says, beautiful cards, Tracy. Thanks. We're just kind of just, just Joanne doing our thing. Joanne, go to the bank. Joanne has to go to the bank. Joanne, go to the bank. Thank you so much for watching, Joanne. It's good to see you. Maxine Curry Clark says, my daughter just walked in and heard you, Bill. She wanted to know if I was listening to Kevin Hart. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. Okay. No. Maybe we should make you do some stand up, huh? I need some Kevin Hart. We could do bank a bank account. That'd be funny. We could do the some... one thing that I have in common with, with Kevin Hart is uh, the way my bank account works. <laughs> <laughs> the way my bank account is set up is, please. <laughs> That's funny, babe. Nope, he's just Bill crafting along with his wife. Well, you know what, Taz? Taz says, being that Bill renames all craft samples, you never know what I'm going to say or rename. Well, you know what, Taz? I'm getting better now. He is. He's actually calling it by name. I've been hanging around long enough where I'm starting to get the right names of this stuff. But when I first started, though, mm. it was just too many things. It was too much. He's like, passy those colorful thingies. Um, you I mean, cannot you mean markers? <laughs> you mean markers? Pass me those tiny round things. Josephine. Josica. You mean gems? <laughs> Josica. Was that right, Joe, in the chat? Josica? Or is it Josica? It's, I don't think it's Josica. Josica. Your crafting is a reflection of how you approach life. There you and, go. And, 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 and I, that's I, I, why, and that's why when people say, Oh, I don't, my crafting isn't this, or my crafting's not like yours, it's not supposed to be like anyone else's. It's supposed to be like your crafting. And right. once you begin to realize that it's such a freeing thing that you don't have to be like anyone else when you craft. Just be yourself. Now, you can get inspired by someone else, and you can learn the technique that someone uses, and then you just kind of, there's this, if you just let it, let it go, I don't know how to, just free yourself, then even though you're picking up techniques from other people, you start to become your own kind of crafter. Right, you just filter the, the, the filter what you do through the techniques that you learn. Yep, and you become you. Right, Ron. Make it your own. Make it your own. You're right, Vanessa Angel Wood Rose. She says you take the technique and run it the way that you want it to go. That, Just run it exactly the way you it. want it to go, yeah. Just kind of do your own thing. A new and, craft. and have fun. You're right. She says it's a blessing for a husband and wife to craft together. Well, I, I like to watch Tracy, though. Because sometimes I like to challenge her. I come up with something, do something with this. What about this? And I just ignore him. <laughs> I made some stuff before that I thought was absolutely hideous. And I say, I bet she can't do that with this. And she'll take that thing. And by the time she's done, I'm just in amazement. Well, it's like life. I, I try I like to find beauty in everything. I like to see I like to take the unpolished and make it and polish it, you know? Polish it up. Oh, congratulations, Mimi B. I have to read this, Tracy. She says, I have good news to share. This is great uh -oh. news to share. I am going to be a grandma again, number oh. seven. Oh, wow. Hopefully, I'll be able to hold the baby by September. Oh, that's going to be so Mimi sweet. B, congratulations. Congratulations. Do you know if it's going to be a girl or boy yet, or are you all holding out to or find Just being it? a surprise. Yeah, some people like to just be surprised with it. I wanted to be surprised, although everyone was telling me what I was going to have. You know, like you have those people around you. They're like, oh, no, you're carrying this way. It's going to be a boy. Oh, no, you're carrying this way. It's going to be a girl, you know. So there'd be this. Oh, the feet are this way. They're going to, when they get older, they're going to get out of the car sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you had that going on. You're like, no. It's going to be what I want it to be. 
well, it'll come when, when God says it's going to come. <laughs> okay. Uh-oh. Vanessa Angel Rose designs his Tracy. I have a challenge for you. What about making a piano card? Sometimes Didn't I say that when people challenge me? But, yeah, she means just period later. Oh, and maybe not today. Oh, either. you know what though? Someone did uh, make a. There's a piano card downstairs that I was like, "Oh, this is cute." Let me go get it. Maybe I can maybe do do something like that. Yeah, I'll get it just to show. Just me. just to remind me. You know which one it is? The one that swerved like this. I know exactly what you're talking yeah, about. It, we have the card. They said build piano cards, and they're downstairs. So um, he's gonna get one of them because it is such a cute card. Well, there you go. See? Piano card. I guess that'll be Bill's card, anniversary card from me, huh? There's a challenge. <laughs> There's the challenge. He surely went down there, too. He went down there, y'all, to get that card. Actually, this, this is actually a card made by Shannon Dager. Shannon Dager made that? Yeah. Yes, that's the card. Look at this, y'all. It's so simple, yeah, look how cute but that yet is. it's so creative. So I think this would hold on tight to your dreams. This is cute. Yeah. Okay. I think I can do this. So we'll put this up for a challenge. Uh, I think it'd be fun to do you know, kind of, I think that'll be, yeah, that's, that's doable. I and, can see it. <laughs> and James is saying, well, she's saying so true, Tracy, to something you said earlier. I guess when I started out, I was like, oh, I want to be like so-and-so. And then I couldn't. So, because I was a poor imitation, but now I'm feeling, I'm freeing myself and it's making me much more creative. Yes. You got to free yourself. Otherwise you will go absolutely. And then you'll never start because you'll, here's what you'll say to yourself. I'm not good enough. My cards aren't like hers. My such, such is not. And so you, you'll, you'll allow outside forces to influence the way you craft. And you want to find your crafty side, not anyone else's. It, to me, it's a personal thing. Right. In all honesty, and, and when you use... I, okay, here's the thing. It's good to identify different people that you aspire to kind of move towards. But as you move in that direction, you have to really start moving into an understanding of, of who of what you want to do and who you want to be with this thing. Right. Because if you just limit it to them, what what they do could possibly be, be limitations on, on who you are. You understand what I'm saying? And it's good to grow, too. It's good to grow. There, there are musicians uh, that I listened to through the years. And when, I, when I was young, I used to think, oh, my God, this is the ultimate... Ooh, if I could do this, and I go back and listen to those guys now, and I think to myself, oh my goodness, this is this is so juvenile. Not that not not as a as a negative uh, criticism, but I'm just saying that I something I thought was so difficult at first is now something that's so easy. Right. But here's another thing now. So oftentimes what we think of is easy. Is genius in itself mm -hmm. because it's the ease that you want. It's simple expression. I mean, you have a dictionary, you learn all these words in here, but then you discover that I would need to write something that the average, I need to write like I'm writing to a sixth grader or seventh grader. That's it, eighth grader. We're not trying to impress anyone by using like words that have 17 syllables in them. <laughs> there are words out there that have some syllables, but like, no one talks like that. We're not trying to use words like supercalifragilistic espialidocious. <laughs> right. And, and, and the same thing holds true in, the cra in crafting. It's great to be able to challenge yourself. But sometimes you just want to be, you know, like just, 
<sighs> I don't want to really right, work. think about it. Yeah, challenge yourself. I want to just do some mindless crafting. But, oh, but, what Taz say? Taz say I'll something. go back and do that. I'll go back and read it. But in the challenge, you know that no matter how difficult something is, it's 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 comprised of very <laughs> simple techniques that build upon one another. Now I'm gonna go back and read that quick. Uh, <laughs> what Ann Jay said, say that again. <laughs> Super califragilistic espialidocious. Now there's this there's this book called Tiki Tiki Tembo. I don't know if y'all are familiar with that, but I used to read that book to the kids at school uh, when I would do class visits or school visits as a librarian, and it was the funnest book. <laughs> and his name was Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Perry Pembo. Kids had, had a, right. had a, a he had like the hand. longest name. Kids love that book. If y'all have kids and you have not read that book, it's such a fun story. Hold on, Tracy. The chat, remember, she, she spelled the name like J O Z I C A, right? Like it's Josica. She says it's impossible to explain the pronunciation. And it's this, Tracy, look. Yojika. Mm. <laughs> they should spell it like that. I would have never. Me either. Yes. You know what? Oh, that's one of your favorite books. She said I used to read it to my baby sister. Oh. Brian says I get it in my own way too sometimes, and that's how it is. Hi, Terry Waddle. Terry says. We have such gentle spirits, and she, she loves watching the video, our videos, oh, and she creates for us in the evening. Oh, okay, Vanessa. Vanessa Angelo says she's going to post a picture in the group of what she means for the piano card. Okay. Do that. We'll, we'll look. What, what do you mean what she means for the piano? <laughs> I'm doing this one right here. Okay. I know, but she's just saying <laughs> what she's, the kind of thing she's thinking of. Oh, well. Then you better think of it, then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Angel, <laughs> Vanessa, she's been a mess with you. Uh. Oh, June says she read that to her children and her students. Sonia Creole has a name. It's, it seems simple, but Anne is telling her that her name is Greek, Swedish, Russian, and Arabic. Oh, wow. Sonia Creole, I just thought you were just Sonia. You know? You have some stuff going on. Taz said something. What did Taz say? Oh, you're right, Taz. Taz said if we were all, if we were and did things the same, it would be boring. Yes, you got to just be yourself. You didn't read that already, did you? No, uh-uh. Okay. I, I haven't been reading, babe. I and you never know what you are able to do until you try. She said that also. What yes. was the name of that book again, please? I will have to add it to the book is um Tiki Tiki Tembo. But the kids in the book, his name is Tiki Tiki Tembo, No Saw Rembo, Chari Bari Ruchi, Pip Perry Pembo. <laughs> That's his name. <laughs> DFC says, isn't that from Mary Poppins or something? No, that's a, a children's book. It's a children's um, well, fairy tale. Well, let me book. tell you, yep. if it's if it's a book, Tracy <laughs> knows she knows that it's there and can tell you where where to find it exactly in any library in the country. Okay, she can do it. Right, Tiki Tiki Tembo. Oh, super califragilistic SPL. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, Is that Mary Poppins? Uh. Might be. I don't know. Somebody yeah, that know. was that was Mary Poppins. Okay, okay. But my all time favorite book for little ones, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. 
Oops. All right. Working my way through. You are working your way through. Mm -hmm. And I was going to take this paper and not use any more of it, but I'm just going to cut it all up and keep using it. I'm going to just go. cut it up and keep using it. Because I'll cut this up and then put it somewhere for like an eternity and then never use it again. Like everyone in here does. <laughs> Okay, so y'all are still hanging on here with me, huh? It's a good thing. I need some yellow polka dotted paper. Bill, I need some paper with yellow polka dots. Sounds personal. <laughs> Bill! What? <laughs> For this right here, I see, I need some yellow polka dots. My dog is under the table, just unbothered by anything, okay? Exactly. Just unbothered completely. Just in his own little world. Just leave me alone. Right. <laughs> so let me just stay right here, close to my mama, and I'm good. Right, not me, but her. Mm. Okay, well, I don't have polka dot, but I do have a plaid like. I'm determined to have something yellow in here. You mean you gonna find it? I'm, I don't have like polka dot, but this, this is close kind of enough, stuff. right? More scraps. Maxine Curry Clark says, what are you using to pick up the embellishments with? And where did you get the fine glue applicator? Um, this is the, um, this is the Marby Jewel Picker. Do we have any more in the store? I think it's one, maybe. It might be one more. Yes, we have, we, away, we, yesterday, yeah, I got another shipment of these coming in. Yesterday. Yeah. Y'all uh, bought these out. Um, I love these little jewel pickers. Um, this tip right here, they have this on Amazon. The metal tip to the uh, to the glue bottle. Um, just look up Art Glitter Glue Metal Tip, and you'll see it. They sell it along with the pen to put in it too. But I'll also leave a link below for y'all. Okay, let me see my measurements here. Can't seem to measure right today. Five, let's see, right here. I just felt like I needed something to put. Right in between there. Leia says she ordered a jewel picker last night. Oh, did you? I'm glad you got one because those, we're selling out pretty quick. Uh, June Legas said, can you please show us a new... Oh, it's not a digital. She said for the new latecomers. It, June, it's, it's, that, it's the uh, photopolymer stamp. It's a photopolymer, June. I'll show it to you in a moment. Let me just finish cutting this up right here. I like the way that stripe looks on there. The blue stripes. Makes the card look fun. Um... <clears throat> Sonia Creel uh, and Ann J are both of y'all in the Mindless Crafting Facebook group. If you are, y'all can connect through there through a uh, private message. I only said it because Sonia Creel and Ann J are trying to connect. Okay, Ann J is a member of the Minus Crafting Facebook group. Sonia Creel, you were then there, aren't you? Sonia might. Yeah, y'all can connect through there. Yeah, if, just do a, a private message in there. I think 
Sonya Cruz is a member of the band. Is she? And Jay says she is. I'm just trying to, I'm waiting to see what Sonya says. Marie, you said you just came from Reptile Expo. Hmm. <laughs> what does that mean? Like Reptile? reptile? <laughs> no. Look, I hope this you right here. Blue. Okay, so this is the stamp set. Power statements. I think someone asked, right? Yes, it was okay. uh, June Valleca. So this was what was released yesterday. This is a six by eight. So this is different from the four by six, but nice big words. Because you want to set goals and take action and be bold when you're taking action. Don't give up and use your gifts, right? And if you're like, well, I'm not sure what my gifts are, keep going so that you can find your gifts. And just know that I'm proud of you just for trying. And because life is good, and because we are family, I know for sure that you can do it. Follow your passion, believe in yourself, and have a great day. So that's all of the big, bold. <laughs> I, like, I like words, okay? Love them. I like tying words together. Okay, so we got that done. You notice I love adding dimension to my cards. It's just something I like doing. Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit more something else here. I'm going to add another layer. Layer it up, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and speed this up just a little bit here now. Sometimes I use my cutting board, sometimes I just take out my scissors. Hi, Barbara Link. Hey, Barbara. Barbara Link said, what did I miss? Girl, we can't even start. I can't even tell you. There's so much stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Barbara. <laughs> so how are you doing, Barbara? Hope you're doing good, you and the boys. It's a nice, bright, sunny day today in Georgia. It's a sunny day in Georgia. Robert Key says, uh, Barbara, how are your toenails? Mm. Uh, Barbara, you'll have to watch the rewatch. You'll have to, to watch the rewind. <laughs> the re the re depth Look, and I said you'll have to watch the really rewind. Asking you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <sighs> Y'all are just hilarious. Y'all are some funny people. Barbara's talking about my toenails. I know, Barbara, you got to watch the replay on this. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I'm glad that y'all could joke around with each other. What? Marie, I told I told Marie to kick her granddaughter out, out of the group. I mean, out of the family for having going to a, like, a snake convention. <laughs> and she said she'll sick her six-foot bull constrictor on me. <laughs> well, that'll, that'll resolve oh, that. No, no. <laughs> Hi, Renee Grant. Renee says, what are digital stamps? Digital stamps are... And I'll get a link to show you those, too. Images that you can download right away. You can resize them, right? Um, they're like... You don't have to stamp them like we do with like uh, a regular photopolymer stamp set but you're able to download them immediately. 
and you print them out on your computer, but you can also resize digital exactly. stamps. Matter of fact, yeah. you can look on our Mindless Crafting yeah, website. Show that to her. Look at that. That looks cute. Okay. Let's go on to the next one. Okay. Uh, who asked that? Uh, Renee Grant. Hold up. Let me do this. Okay, Renee, just so you can kind of play around, if you go to the website, I'm showing you on my phone, but if you scroll down, eventually you'll get to a part right here where it talks about free digital downloads. So if you click, well, it'll say sign up below. Basically, you'll enter your information right here, subscribe, and we have a series sometimes where we'll have, we'll constantly change up the free downloads and just we'll send them to you the moment they, that I put a new one up. And you can kind of play around. And we also have uh, a list of, uh, a playlist of video tutorials we've created showing you how to manipulate digital images. The beauty of, of dealing with like what's called PNG images is that you can arrange them uh, any way you want, all on top of one another, larger, smaller, uh, you can flip them horizontally, vertically. Uh, it, it's it's a lot of fun yes. and create yeah. cards and images that are unique to you. In fact, you can take those arrangements that you put together and save them, and come back later and use them at a later time or anytime you feel like. Yeah. So, I put the uh, here's the a link of some of our digital images. Alright. Well, I'm gonna pull out some more paper here. Phibs, what's going on? My dog is under here moaning and groaning, y'all. Oh, that's gonna look nice. Let's see. Hey, you can go there and check them out. That's gonna look cute. Just like that. Okay. Do some more cutting. Excuse me. Barbara Lang says, love the cards, Tracy. Oh, they cut uh, apart from paper pads. Yes, these were in a paper pad, a 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, so I just thought, you know, I'm just going to come in my craft room and use up some of these because they've been, it's been sitting there for a while. A long while, actually. So. Oh, June says, are those digits of stamps that are new? The ones that are new are photopolymer stamps, the larger six by eight. Yeah, this one is a new stamp. It's the six by eight compared to the, the more traditional uh, four by six. But you get a lot of real estate on that. Mm -hmm. I like the, the larger six by eights because when you're doing uh, sentiments, you can make them much larger and you can actually build an entire card concept around the words. Yep. Yeah. Somebody's eating brunch. Wait a minute. What kind of conversation? Y'all having a food conversation? Okay, Sonia Creel says she's not a member yet. Here, Sonia, let me write this down for you. Okay, hold up. Uh, Sonia, you've got to be a member of this right here. It's a fun group. Uh, it's it's a mindless crafting group. I'm writing it down for her. Huh? I love that. I like the way that blue looks. That looks perfect. I was wondering what I would do with that extra blue paper. And now I got it. If you look around your craft room hard enough, the colors will find themselves. The patterns and the stickers will find, they'll, they'll be attracted to themselves and they'll find themselves. Oh, you see that, Sonia? So you go go to Facebook and look up Mindless Crafting Group. You'll be posed with three questions. Be sure to ask Love those that. questions. And Sonia, when you get there, I mean, 
you're going to see all the crafters that it's probably like well over 5,000 people in that, in that particular group. And, and don't be shy about yes. posting your stuff. Go ahead and post. The group is non-critical. I mean, they, they, they come very to your aid and yeah. offer support. I mean, they tell you, give you different ideals, uh, crafting ideas. It's incredible. I've learned so much more than I ever knew just by looking at a lot of the crafts that you all are making and, and putting up in the group. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Thanks, Karen. Yes, we are delightful, aren't we? We're a delightful group. I like that word. Delightful. Uh-oh. Congratulations, Deanne Robinson. She says, I'm late. My son received his high school diploma yesterday. Oh. All glory to God. Congratulations. I'm proud of him. Congratulations. So we. We're proud also. Some people look at that like it's nothing. Oh, no. I, yeah. When my kids graduated from high school, I was like just walking on top of the world, okay? One of my favorite guys on YouTube is a guy named uh, Eric Thomas. He has a channel called E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher. And when he graduated from high school, he, he was the first member in his family to graduate from high school. And he... They were so proud of him. Of course, now he has a PhD, but 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 there was nothing like that first one. Think about that now. To a family that's never, no one has ever finished high school. They were probably looking at him like the tears flowing down their face, saying, "Look at how our lineage is getting ready to go to the next level." But other people can take something like that for granted, like it's nothing. Remarkable achievement, Dion. Margie, she says, my youngest grandson just graduated from college. Congratulations, Margie. He's at that next pinnacle. Mima Terry, Fred says, I, cri comment? I cried when, uh, I'll get to that. Mima Fred says, I cried when both of my Boys graduated high school and college. Let me tell you something, my friend. I remember when, actually when Chelsea graduated, especially Ariel graduated, oh my goodness. But I had them, my glasses, my glasses, they get extremely dark in the light. I had to put my glasses on and sit at the end, kind of away from Tracy them, because I knew. And when, they, when she graduated, I'm talking tears was coming down my face. I didn't know what to do with myself. You know what I'm saying? And you would think, oh man, I know you're not crying. Yes, I did. Terry Waddle says, any possibilities of creating digital stamps with images of black women, boys, and families? By the way, I'm watching from Texas. I'll just go ahead and tell you right now, Terry. Did you see them? There's, um, look at some of the digital stamps. Uh, we're getting there. We just got to make sure that the images look good. Yes, but I'll just go ahead and say yes, Terry. That we have some that we've done. That, I even uh, have some uh, images of kids of uh, lots of different nationalities. And then um, I think was the mermaid our first one? The mermaid, this is our first one. Yeah, and it's in the store. You can look and see. This was made in the image of my daughter. Right, our look youngest daughter, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I love this. Hold up. And um, our artist, John, he's he's awesome. But yeah, if you go to the store, you'll see um, some of the images. I'm thinking of doing some mindless crafting kids. So yeah. And the oh, your your card, babe. Look, remember your Father's Day card. Bill's Father's Day card. So yeah, you. you you want to do good with people. People uh, stamps, you know, <laughs> are a tough one. But yeah, we're we're working on that. Just got to be done right. I don't want to just throw anything out there. 
There you go. So we got a lot in the works, actually. Oh, where's the one with the little girl? Uh, let's see. I, I have... We just did one with a little girl looking out the window. Where is she? Yeah, look at our digital collection. There's one with the little girl. Yeah, we get ready. ready. We just released the Happy Place stamp set. So I've got John. He's done some images for me, but I'm just, you know, they got to be tweaked because when I release them, I don't want to put something out into the atmosphere that's not done uh, correctly. It was a happy place, right? Mm -hmm. Somewhere on there. Oh, here's one right here with this. This is our newest, one of our newest digital stamps. The little girl looking out the window. Yep, so we're working on a lot of images, a lot of people images. Digital stamp sets would allow us to do more people and get more detail in there. So we, we're trying to do a little bit of everything. But I got to have it done right. Okay, let me finish. Let me get, let me get finished with this right here because we've been on almost, what, two hours? Oh, Terry says she has a happy place. Oh, nice, Terry. Yep, we got a lot of ideas that we're looking at right now. Uh, we started our company in... Oh. We started our company in 20, 2018, right? December of 2018, we, first, we opened up our store. So, yeah, we're, we're doing a lot, and we're hoping to do a lot more. Hold up, Terry. Vicky says that mermaid is lovely. Ariel must be a beautiful young lady. Oh. Well, let me show you real quick. Here's the mermaid that you can kind of compare. This will be very quick. Here she is here. So you can kind of see where the influence of that mermaid came from. That's our hair girl. Yeah, that's Ariel <laughs> right there. That's our youngest. Okay, let me finish off these these last bit of cards here. Yes, uh, do that. <laughs> Bill, you know what? You keep interrupting me. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm going to stop interrupting. Mm. <laughs> For two minutes. Good question, though. Barbara Lake says, I printed me some more images from the Happy uh, Digi set. Love calling the heart flower and the girl. I know. Isn't that a fun, fun card? Fun images. Okay, so that's what we're trying to do is do some fun images. John, who's an our artist, he does some great stuff. Y'all can see. It's just like. It's bananas. Actually. The detail and stuff. It's, Yeah. It is that he can do just about anything, but we've got some stuff. I had him do like four kids for me um, in different nationalities, and we just have to tweak some things. There's Hold some up. things I need him to change. Yeah, Robinson says, Tracy, would you consider doing a set including an African-American male in different stages of life, please? Kind of like the little girl and the mermaid. That's actually kind of on the way. We'll we'll write it down because yeah. yeah we've got a lot of um we I think we've got over our list is like close to seven hundred different ideas yeah so if you could imagine <laughs> well that is those kind of things are definitely coming yeah so we want to do people stamps but they've got to be they've got to be done right yeah so I want to make sure that when I release them that they're like. Just exceptional, exceptionally good. Well, those are great ideas. Thanks a lot. Yes, excellent ideas.
You're right, Patricia Ross. Patricia Ross is saying go to the playlist and meet John. Oh, yeah, we did have him on the channel. Yeah. He's, uh, yeah. <laughs> I just gave him some more stuff to do. So he's he's working, y'all. He's got a bunch of stuff that he's doing for me right now. So be ready. A lawnmower out there. Yeah. Where could this come from? Huh? I'm gonna use this stripes. What stripe? I didn't realize I had this. Just sitting on the ground there. You're so happy, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> this little doggy is adorable. I'm gonna take this. Add it on here. Don't mind me, y'all. I'm just uh, I'm just talking to myself. Oh no, someone was asking about a stamp set with uh, grown men on it, men in different age stages of their life. Is that what um, June was talking about? Oh, thank you, Dion. She said, Tracy, we understand everything you do is exceptional. We try to be, uh, you know, just kind of do our own thing. And and I have a lot of um, artwork that John has created that has not made it to a stamp set. But it's still, it's still good work. But it just hasn't been able to make the cut. So when we pick out what we create or what's going to be turned into a digital or photopolymer, we're really particular. Bill knows I'm really particular about, about it. Right, babe? Yes. Yeah, we had a wonderful session. If y'all had not seen that session that we did with John, I mean, it's amazing what he can do. So right now, the, what we create with John, um, we create virtually. <laughs> we don't, like, he doesn't come to the house, like, um, only to drop off some of the stuff, and that's basically it. So with all this pandemic stuff going on, we haven't really had a chance to connect on other, other than by telephone. All right. I just put the link in there for John. It says, meet John, our artist. Oh, yeah. You want... Make sure you watch that. You're going to love what he creates. No, Ron. Ron says Bill seems to be winding down. What happened, I was doing all the looking up. He was stuff. looking up some stuff, yeah. I'm about to wind down, though, on this. Uh, <laughs> you know? I like that. Plan. See, this is one of those cards you could just stamp on the inside. It's just that cute. The image itself is, is cute by itself. All right. I am not looking forward to going to my mom's house to do the lawn. What's that lawn? <laughs> what? <laughs> Bill? We have to go to Pearl. I'm going to tell my mother. <sighs> Bill. <laughs> He's like, we still going. I got to rest. You're resting now. No, I got to rest from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've been running all week, basically. I'll call my mother then. I'll have to call my mom. Let me go tomorrow. Oh, thank you so much, Sonia. She said you and Bill are a cute couple. Margie. Margie says Bill is ornery. I kind of like that. Uh, it almost looks like an awning at the top. That is cute. Let's see if this fits on here. I didn't even try it out. If it didn't fit, I'd just cut it down, right? That's cute. Well, Robin says that she found a big bag of scrap oh. paper at the local Walmart this Ooh. week for two dollars. All kind of papers, design, textures, perfect for embellishment. Oh, 
That label's going to stay right uh -oh. on there. Oh, Patricia Ross was working on something. She says, I'm finished. She always crafts during this period of time. Oh, her. nice. So you got like a crafting schedule. She's going to post it in the group. We were looking for it. That is nice how that came out. That looks cute, right? That looks so fun. So I'm going to add a couple of gems to this. And since we ran over, an hour. <laughs> since we ran over, y'all, I'll have to add my little flowers and stuff off camera. Adorable, cute, cute. And I could just stamp inside of these whatever messages I want. Happy birthday. Thank you. Whichever one you want to stamp in it. That's not bad. 12 cards. And now, now here's what, what else you can do. Like when you want to mass produce cards. You make all of these now. And then you go back and you add like maybe a strip of ribbon. Wow, that guy is really speeding up the street. Did y'all hear that? He's on his motorbike. Mm. Wow. Right, so now you can just go and add your ribbon if you want to add little flowers to it. Um, it's just up to you. <laughs> you want to add little stickers. Hi, Carrie Woods. Add some hearts. So how many cards did that come out to be? 12. You meant you were going to do 12, huh? Yep, I was determined to do 12. Susan Stewart says she ate breakfast and she's ready to eat some more stuff. Well, mm. she, did. she ate breakfast. She's ready oh for more goodness. fun. Oh my goodness, Bill! Tell them about that I, before we go. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I, I can't remember the name of it though. Yeah, I have a picture of it though. Hold up. This is you know what? If you just see the name of the ice cream, you wouldn't even think twice about it. You would say to yourself, "What in the world is this stuff?" Show me this, Trace. Hold up. It's a Ben and yeah. Jerry's. Oh, you took a picture it's, of it. Yeah, huh? it's gonna flip. You gotta turn it the other way. The other way, but the there keep the circle the squares are at the bottom. Your thumb. Okay, anyway, look how close. This is a Ben and Jerry's salted oh, caramel core. Ben and Jerry's salted caramel core. Yes. Well. Anyway, that's it. This stuff right here. Why on earth did Ariel introduce that ice this cream? This stuff here. If you look at it, you say, what salted caramel? What is this? But when you taste this ice cream, it's absolutely outrageous. Yes. Okay, let's see. Y'all got a few questions. Okay. Uh, June. Oh, it's the Father's Day digital stamp. Okay, let's see. Oh, Sonia. Let me see. Okay, I got you. Yeah, here's one right here. This you're talking about this one, the Wonderful Dad digi stamp. I think that's the one you're talking about. That has Dad on the couch and Dad watching TV. I think that's the one that June was trying to. That was due June. Yeah, June was wondering about that one. I think that's the one. Hold on, Trace. Uh... Yes, digital stamps are downloads only right now. Now, we've had a lot of requests. Do we have, we do, do we have a Facebook page we, called Gift Basket Appeal? I don't think so. Yes, we do. We've had a lot of requests what? for... Um, for the digitals to be turned into photopolymer stamps now that our manufacturing company is back open. It did close down for, um, it closed down because of COVID. So it just opened back up. So that's why we're able to release this one. So we're going back to photopolymer and we're still gonna do digitals. So that was the thing. So we have to decide which images 
we can put on photopolymer because we don't have as much leeway with the photopolymer because you have to make sure the sizing is all right. So yeah, so that's where, where we're at right now is deciding which ones will be turned into photopolymer. And it is a expensive um, to produce a photopolymer. It's, it's very expensive, um, but it can be it can be done. We just have to, you know, be mindful of what we're creating and be fiscally responsible in our business for which ones we create. Okay, so I'm just looking to see if there's any more questions. Anything, Bill? Going back no. and looking? Digital stamps are downloads only. Yes, that's what someone said. <laughs> someone said they like the Ben and Jerry's Chunky Monkey. Oh my goodness. I saw that. I, I saw that. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm going to, I finished my 12 cards. I'm going to add some things to them. Um, I guess this piano card will be one of the cards that I um, recreate. Yep, recreate this one. And I guess I'll wait to see what that other one looks like. <laughs> How much? Uh, how much what? How much cards? 12 cards? Or how much is the digital stamp? If it's a, if it's a digital stamp, it's normally $17.99, but with the discount, it's $16.20. No, not with the digital stamp, eh? I said, no, the one that's on sale. Oh, for the... I haven't been reading the comments, y'all. I just sold the source. Susan, tell me which one. Yeah. She said, I want to know how much. Oh, you're so welcome, Barbara. She said, thanks for the, yeah. for the beautiful card making today. You're so welcome. Yes, Darlene K. Darlene says you'll have to watch the rerun. Hi, Darlene. Yeah, Bill and I are going to, I guess we're going to relax the rest of the afternoon, get some lunch, you know? That probably works. Just trying to kind of yeah, I relax. This was a really. Um, June, Blake this, said, but rest from us? <laughs> no, this week. <laughs> Oh, I'm good. I could start crafting more stuff right now off camera. Thank you, Vicky. Um, to make a poly, how much? It depends. It depends on how many you actually um it depends on how much you order in 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 bulk. Yeah. And and it also includes the packaging too, because they have to, they when these go to them, right? So say we order five hundred of these, right? They have to, I have to make sure they have this too, the outer packaging. Have to make sure they have this part right here too. You see this little backing here, and then they have to put it in the acetate. All of that stuff is included in that whole right, thing. So, so it's a lot. So the paper part, we had I had to create that, all the writing on the back. That comes from one manufacturer. Right. The, the, the clear uh, bag part of it comes from another manufacturer. Mm -hmm. And they all have to be shipped to the to the stamp manufacturer, who then we pay them to put it together, do all the cutting, everything. And, and so by the time it comes to us, we can do less. It's worth right. the effort, though. It really is. Thank you, June. Well, it's time to get ready, Trace. Yep, it's time for us to go. We got to go eat. Thanks, June. Bye, Bertha. Y'all take care and have a good, a good afternoon. I'm gonna have me some ice cream and probably watch a movie later on this afternoon. And just kind of relax.
Okay, y'all. Take care. Be blessed. Do what you love. Do what you love and, and love, love what, what you, you do. do. You're so welcome. Bye. Bye.